Police this morning. The team says the practice facility is closed today. The team will work remotely as they work now to confirm those tests. So many questions. Alexa Green live downtown where the Colts are having this free drive through event as we speak. Alexa, what are you hearing out there? Good morning to you, Angela and Jess. We've reached out to the event manager here at the free drive through event and she wouldn't say anything about these individuals that have tested positive within the organization. We also reached out to other Colts officials just looking to get some answers and all they would do is refer us back to that statement. I'm going to read that to you. It said in part that this morning several individuals have tested positive. It goes on to say the team is currently in the process of confirming those tests. In the meantime, the practice facility will be closed and the team will work remotely while following NFL protocols. We are in constant communication with the NFL and we'll have more information when it is available. Now it's unclear at this point who exactly tested positive. Was it players? Was it coaches? Was it employees? Again, all of this we don't know right now. We are asking those questions this morning, but again, so far, not having much luck getting answers. Angie, Jess. Alexa, really have about really kind of two questions here for you. First, kind of, you know, a little bit more about what's going on behind you as far as if any of those are, are Colts employees that are putting this big drive through on. Yeah, so this drive through has been going on since 7 this morning here at Monument Circle. I'm going to step out of the way to show you what's going on. You can see people can drive up in their cars and Colts employees who are masked up are giving them bags with some free t-shirts and posters inside. Right now we have about 100 people in line here. Everyone again is wearing masks, uh, but we were able to talk to a Colts fan not too long ago. He was walking past us wearing a Colts sweatshirt. I asked him his reaction to the news. Jess and Ange didn't even know about this yet. So a lot of people here, they don't seem concerned. They don't seem phased. And some people, I think, simply don't even know about this. Yeah, and Alexa, quickly, this isn't just an issue with the Colts. I mean, this is, has been across the NFL, right? Yeah, I mean, it really has. We've seen this over and over again. We know the Titans, they had to reschedule at least two games and at least 10 other teams are dealing with this as well. So we're in constant contact with the Colts trying to figure out what this means for them, what this means for Sunday's game against the Bengals. As of now, though, as of this morning, that game is still on for 1 p.m. Sunday. And